Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here once again with the Motorola Click XT. I'm showing you guys a quick demo of how to root your Click XTs. So, the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into the Android market and download an app called ConnectBot. So you just open up the market, search for ConnectBot, and then download it. You can verify that you have it installed by just opening up your app list, making sure that there's an app called ConnectBot on the app list. The next step would be to enable USB debugging, which we'd press Menu, Settings, and choose Applications, Development, and then we're going to make sure that that we check make a check mark on USB debugging. So now we just put the phone to the side and we're ready to go to our computer to continue with what we have to do. On my post you're going to find two different files uh, Motorola drivers as well as a root file. So the first thing you want to do is download and install the Motorola drivers depending on what version of Windows you have. Um, you have to get either 32-bit or 64-bit. Since we're currently on a netbook here, I'm installing a 32-bit version of the drivers. And we're just going to click I agree. Next. And yes. So while we wait that for that to install, we can go over to our root files and extract them to our desktop. So you can just double click on that. And then I use WinRAR, but you can use any zip archiver and just drag the folder over right to your desktop as so. Okay, we still continue to wait for these drivers to be installed. Um, once these drivers are installed, then we'll be ready to plug in the phone. So now they are installed, so we're just going to click close right there. Alrighty, so. Let me plug in the phone right now to the US USB right into the phone. So now we're installing device drivers. I like clicking on here to know exactly what's being installed. Um, you got you should wait till everything says ready to use. The most important one is having ADB interface ready to use. So we're waiting for that one actually to finish installing. All right, so that's ready. So now we're just going to click close on this window. And we're going to go to that root folder we just extracted. Um, you're going to see a couple of files here. You're going to click on the first one that says number one, run this to start root. And you're going to see a bunch of commands. Um, these commands are going to go really quick on my system here because my phone already has these files on the SD card. But you'll know you're ready to go to your phone once it says ADB shell. You see the money sign and the blinking underscore there. So now we're going to go over right to our phone here. And we're going to continue with this process. Uh, previously I said that you guys needed to download ConnectBot, so this is where we're going to open up ConnectBot here. And I've already done this, but normally the first time I'm just going to go through the process. It's going to be slightly different the first time you open it. Uh, let me just delete this for you guys to show you guys how it would be. So normally when you open up you're going to see a screen like this. You're going to click here where it says SSH and we're going to choose local. And then we're going to, it's going to ask for a nickname, and we have to write something. So I'm just going to write SU. It doesn't really matter what you write. This is going to open up a window with a uh, money sign right there. And we're going to type in uh, the commands that I put on the website. So the first one would be CD slash data backslash local backslash temp. Press enter. Then we're going to do period backslash rage I apologize for the really bad typing I'm just not used to the slowness of 1.5 rage against the, the K 
cage hyphen arm five dot bin. You'll find these commands right on the listing. I know you guys can't really see it, and then you press done. Start you see it going through some commands here. And we just wait. Eventually it'll say forked a num some certain number of childs. And that's when we know we're ready. So it says forked 2033 child. So now that's ready. And at this point we're just going to press menu and then choose disconnect. What's going to happen is we're going to have to wait because it's the app's just not going to close right now. And it'll give you a, a message asking you to force close and you're going to say yes you want to force close. Uh, see. And we're going to force close it. Then you can just press the home button to get out of the app. Now we're going to go back to the app list and we're going to choose connect bot one more time. Doesn't look, doesn't work up the first time, so we try it again. We're going to choose that two that we just did before. Just click on it there, and now you should see a pound sign. You can't really see it, the glare, but I do have a pound sign, so that's good. That means you have a temporary root here. So now we're just going to uh, make it a permanent root. So we're going to load up the install root file. So we're going to do backslash data slash local slash temp slash install hyphen root sh so we're going to type that again that command will be found on the listing you press enter and you know it's good if you get no error and the next thing you get is that pound sign there so now you're done right there on the phone you're going to just press disconnect and we're just going to exit out of the app here. So now you've officially rooted your phone. Um, so the next goal here, we're going to go back to the computer here. And we're just going to exit out this, uh, this app here. And now we're going to click on run this to start recovery. What this is going to do is start the custom recovery. So we're pushing over the recovery file, and then we're given a ampersand there. So we're gonna type su, and then nothing's gonna happen. So you're gonna go to your phone, you're just gonna press the touchpad there, bring it back alive. So nothing happened here. So let's, we see our permission denied here. So let's try one more time, we're gonna write su. And we're going to go back to the phone and we should get this message and we're just going to click allow. So now we go back to the computer and you know you're good when you have that pound sign. So now we're going to type flash underscore image space recovery slash SD card slash recovery dot image. And when it press enter. And then we're going to press reboot. What this is going to do is going to restart the phone, and it's going to have the the new um, recovery installed. So now you have officially rooted your phone and installed a custom recovery right onto your phone. So now the phone is just going to boot up. We haven't installed any ROM or anything yet. But we have, however, rooted and um, installed a custom recovery. So with the custom recovery, now you can easily put in any ROM you'd like. Um, basically, you'd boot into recovery by just holding down the camera button and the power button. And then it'll give you an option to get into the recovery and flash an image. It's recommended that you always wipe all before actually um, installing a custom ROM and I could probably make a video right after this one showing you guys on how to install a custom ROM so I'm just going to show you guys that we are rooted charge only uh, one way to verify after that reboot to verify that you are really rooted is you open up your app list and if you see super user right there you know your root is still working well that's how to root and install a custom recovery on the Click XT. have a great day guys